I need your help, Andreas. I don't know what to do. What is it, Rickles? I heard from someone I know in Northfield. Their village is about to be attacked by monsters. And they're monsters from the frontier too. The locals can't defend it on their own. Is this your hometown? No, it's not. But I will go there often, and I know everyone quite well. What part of Northfield is this? The Northwest, near the frontier. I doubt that we get there in time, even if we left now. You mean... <laughs> Their only hope is to abandon the village. That would buy us some time. <sighs> right. So there's still hope. Only if we hurry. Now, go and get ready. You're dispatching the Blue Foxes! We'll be expecting a reward, of course. Uh, of course! Not I expected no mm -hmm. what not got it. Under mm. uh, uh, how, what's uh, please I can't believe this. Thank you ever so much. Remarkable. So hey, and Go, I can't. Oh, can I? Uh, hey. Yeah. Indeed. Come again. Oh. I'm in for it now. Back to Elm last night, Castavir. What were you up to? Uh, 
I heard about an establishment in northern Central Field that's famed for its beautiful girls. So I decided to go and see for myself. Our work was done. It was time for some sport. Was this place in territory once controlled by Count Horace? It gets past you. Horace ran a brothel where young women he'd abducted were forced to sell their bodies. I had thought that all such venues had been closed down now that Duke Hende controls the region. Anyway, before you jump to any conclusions, I spoke to the girls there. They're all very poor and had no other options. Times of strife require sacrifice, they said. And when I heard that, well, I had to act. I set fire to the place and pilfered all its takings. I gave the coin to the girls, helped them escape, and ran like hell. So you've been creating more trouble for us, I see. <laughs> I suppose they might work out that I did it. If that happens, I'll be sure to apologize. On your head be it. Uh, let me be clear. I have no regrets. I will never allow damsels to remain in distress. Be honest. You went there looking for a good time. But of course, had the girls been agreeable, I would gladly have enjoyed an evening together. I despair. Fred, what's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? You ordered a massive cavalry training ground to be built in the Eastfield grasslands. That area was meant to be used for testing modern magic from the continent. Modern magic indeed. The kingdom of Alatain has its ancient sorcery. We ought to focus on what we do best. And besides, we lack trained cavalry. Modern magic is a weapon that both the Empire and the Alliance may wield against us. A weapon that is extremely easy to use. It would be unwise not to learn more about it. Ancient sorcery is more powerful. It won't be outdone by some fad that any fool can use. Really, Fred? Worry not, Rias. Alatane shall fight as Alatane does best. It's a noble thought, but it will see you left behind in this age of progress. On the contrary. It shall bring about a new kingdom for a new era. You had better steal yourself for the future, Rias. Listen, Fred. What? Never mind.
Those seem to be our monsters. Whereabouts are we? Southeast of the village, quite a way away. There are no villagers anywhere to be seen, though. Are we too late? Did the monsters already attack? We'll think about that later. First, we kill them. Right. I'm on my way. Oh, 
destroy you. You met your match. Yes, that looks to be the right position. Go. to be the right position. I'm off at once. Very well. Here I go. Watch this. Yes, that looks to be the right position. I'm on my way. It will take more than that. Take this! I'll destroy you. You end your match. I'm off at once. Yet another foe to beat. Monsters are defeated. Now back to Central Field. What? Aren't we going to search for everyone? The fight took a lot out of us. Continuing in this state would be dangerous. More monsters could show up. We need to recuperate before searching for the villagers. But... It's not worth losing our lives to find them, Rickles. Uh, I suppose you're right.
Rickles, I have news. What is it, Andreas? It's about the villagers from Northfield. One of my scouts has tracked them down. It seems they fled to a nearby settlement, and everyone is safe and sound. Really? Aye. Uh, I can't believe it. This is such a relief. Thank you, Andreas. I did nothing aside from defeat a few monsters. That's not true. You also found the villagers. I just didn't want you to get into trouble looking for them by yourself. That's all. Oh, really? <laughs> well, whatever your reason, I'm eternally grateful.
unit has been eliminated. position. Deploying for battle. Moving to the destination. Now you've got... Take this!
souls are saved. Moving to the destination. I'll show you. On my way. I'll destroy you. You met your match. to be in the right position. Go. Moving out. Be gone with you. Take this. How does it feel? Deploying for battle. Now you've got... Yet more to learn, even at my age. Capture successful. Oh, anyway, I'm I. Looks to be the right position. The enemy has been eliminated. Next target. Deploying 
for battle. Easy. My moth of once. I'll destroy you. You met your match. I'm on my way. On my way. Moving out. Everyone with me. How was that? Deploying for battle. Yes. That needs to be the right position. Go. On my way. Target eliminated. Go. I'm off at once. Moving to the destination. my way. Certainly feels I.
I'll show you. Moving out. Next time. On my way. Target eliminated. Yes. That looks to be the right position. Pray that your souls are saved. I'm on my way. Souls are saved. Yes, we made a blunder. Thanks. Are you all right? I'm on my way. Here I go. Watch this. On my way. Go. I'm off at once. Yes, that looks to be the right position. The enemy has been moving out. Deploying for battle. Deploying for 
Yet more to learn, even at my age. A mm -hmm. yeah. Ah. Oh. We have received an order from Lord Councillor Kimball. The Westfield town of Yulden has been overrun with violence and theft. Our task is to restore order. It seems that mercenaries are to blame, many having lost their patrons in the faction conflict. I have certainly heard tales of mercenaries left bereft by the passing of their noble masters. I wouldn't be surprised if Archbishop Joshua were fanning the flames behind the scenes. <clears throat> Will the princes stop at nothing to win the throne? Regardless, our orders are clear. Quinn, try to keep casualties to a minimum. I make no promises. Quinn! Member of Victor's faction will die. Round up the starish dogs and hang them high. So much hatred and lawlessness, all because of the succession dispute. Enough of this. We must be united against the Empire. That's not... Forget it. There's nothing you can say to change their minds. I thought the Alliance was bad, but this... <sighs> I suppose this is what war does to a country. Enough of the philosophizing. We need to focus on the situation at hand.
on my way. Moving to the destination. to be the right On my way. Deploying for Powell, you've got... I'm on my way. This isn't really my style. for battle. Capture successful. I'm off at once. Yes, that looks to be the right Moving position. Out. Moving to the destination. I'm on my way. Deploying for battle. Moving out. I'm off at once. On my way. Moving to the destination. The enemy has been eliminated. Destroy you. You met your match. Deploying for battle. Easy. On my way. Go. Next time. This isn't really my style. Moving out. This will serve as a staging point. Ugh, they just won't listen. But even if we deal with the situation here, it won't solve the deeper problem. If only Prince Ivangar were alive. Hmm. Moving out. 
Moving out. If this continues, the kingdom will crumble. Something must be done. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. What I'm about to tell you must be kept secret, at least until the time is right. Thus far, you have all known me as Frederick Lester, but this is not my real name. 
I am Levantia Shatham, fourth son of the late Rhaegal Shatham. <gasps> he can't be. F -f Fritz? A prince? Uh, is this really true, Andreas? Let him explain. I have kept quiet all this time because I thought one fewer prince would make life easier. D does this mean... I had always thought that Prince Levantia had been assassinated when he was a child. The one who was killed that day was Frederick Leicestershire, a boy of my age from House Leicester. I don't believe it. How can you prove that this is true? Look at my arm. This mark only appears on members of the Shatham family. This proves my lineage. That's the mark of the blessed. We all bore witness to the destruction that beset Yeldon. I cannot abide this carnage any longer. It is time to fulfill my destiny as the true royal heir. Therefore, to right this kingdom's wicked path, I ask you all to lend me your strength. I'll have no part in it. I'm leaving. I finally got a glimpse at your true intentions, Rias, and I for one shall not be caught up in it all. Quinn! The rest of you might want to consider following my lead. Rias, is this really what you want? <sighs> the Blue Foxes succeed in calming the situation in Yulden, but violent conflict continues to rage throughout Dealfield. Meanwhile, Archbishop Joshua deploys his fiercely loyal Templar Knights to Turnberry Meadows. Lord Kimball's troops march there to meet them, and the two factions confront each other head on. Elsewhere, the Blue Foxes are called to a meeting where Frederick reveals himself to be Prince Levantia to the shock of the unit. Unwilling to support Frederick's bid for the throne, Walter Quinn leaves the unit. With the factional battle imminent, the Blue Foxes receive an order to eliminate the Archbishop. <sighs> I. Hmm. Mm. How? Hmm. What's that? I can I so uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm. I cannot agree. However, how mm -hmm. uh, enough. Sorry. Uh hmm. Ugh. What's the matter, Estelle? I've come a long way since I first met you. Haven't I, Andreas? Well... Yes, of course. There are few magickers in the unit who could claim to rival you. I had doubts about your mentality when you first joined, but those have since been dispelled. Exactly. Why do you ask? 
husband's always treating me like a child, reminding me to pack my food before setting out. Telling me not to go too far out on the front lines. She's so overprotective. You've known each other a long time, haven't you? If she met you when you were a child, I can see how she might still see you that way. But now I'm a soldier, and I can protect her. Ah, I see how it is. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Ignore me. Hey, come on, what kind of ideas are you getting? It's not like that, you're barking up the wrong tree. Don't worry, I won't tell. You won't? Uh, okay. What is it, Zerowag? I was just thinking of the day when you and Fred first came to me. One minute you were on my doorstep, famished and bloodied. The next you were declaring your intention to fight as mercenaries. It was Fred's father, Arlim, who told us to go to you. He said you were old friends. The journey nearly killed us many times over. Yes, you seemed ready to fall over at any moment. But you had a fire in your eyes. Fred more than I, to be sure. His family had just been murdered after all. Nay, I saw more fire in you. Really? Neither rage nor obsession, but a cool, unshakable, unwavering spirit. And it seems to have persisted to this day. What are you trying to say, Zarawak? I'm just glad you'll have my back, that's all. Is that so? Iska, we must prepare to deploy. There are more rioters. What is their complaint this time? They claim to be clamoring for democracy, though perhaps that is merely a pretext. According to our scouts, all that is really going on is the usual looting. More violence without justification, then. Very well. I'll get ready. I just hope you aren't twisting the scout's words for your own ends. Go and see for yourself. I'm sure you'll be proved right. You always are.
It looks like we'll have to fight your old comrades, Catherine. I cannot object. It was my choice to leave the church, and I do not regret it. The church's ostensible purpose is to provide succor to the people. Yet its energies are spent on political bickering. Might the world even be better off without it? I... I cannot answer that. Uh, of course. My apologies. We should focus on the mission. Yes. There will be ample time to contemplate more abstract matters should we survive. Would you happen to have a spare moment, Andreas? There is much to do, but yes. What is it? My parents have asked me to return home to Northfield. They wish to speak with me. The visit would be fairly short, of course. What do they want to discuss with you? My resignation from the Templar Knights, I should imagine. I have not told them yet, but they may have heard rumors. My family has been devoted to the church for generations. They were so proud when I joined the Templars. God's own vanguard, they called it. Then you can expect to be reprimanded if you return. They will certainly be upset. But this is the path I have chosen, with much pain. I wish to tell them myself of my decision, even if they will not accept it. Fine, if you must. But if you do not return, you will be discharged from the unit. I understand. You needn't worry. Very well then. Something feels off lately. Don't you think, Rius? Off? What do you mean? The mood among the blue foxes. Everyone is so uptight. My sense of rage under the surface. We've grown bigger, more prestigious. We ought to be better off than before. But for some reason, I'm feeling constantly on edge. Do you get that too? The circumstances are hardly fit for relaxation, given that we face such formidable foes. Besides, we're a group of fighters. This isn't supposed to be a place of tranquility. I know that, but back when we were founded, it just seemed that everyone was much more laid back and joyful. 
Listen, Izzy. Our battles are only going to become more difficult. I thought we could count on you. But if you don't like the way the units... Don't you dare finish that sentence, Rius. I've been with you from the start, and I have my pride as a mercenary and as a swordswoman. I'm sticking with you and Fred till the end, until I breathe my last breath. Got it? And what if you had to pick between us? Huh? Nothing. Forget about it. <laughs>